Eyewitness News is covering the flu now. Prepare, don't panic. That's the message from health leaders in the state. Here are the latest developments. Yesterday, the Department of Health confirmed 12-year-old Victoria Sousa did have H1N1 when she died on Monday. However, the agency is not saying whether that is the cause of her sudden death. Her passing has caused concerns on many levels, from urging all parents to sign consent forms so their children can get the vaccine, to a local hospital revising its visitation policy, to Catholic churches taking extra precautions during Sunday Mass. And that's Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly's angle. He joins us live with details. Yes, Karen, in the most heavily Catholic state in the country, the leader of Rhode Island's faithful today added to his duties, passing along safety tips against the H1N1 flu virus. Devout Roman Catholics look for the hand of God for protection in all aspects of their lives, but even so, Bishop Thomas Tobin is asking his flock to take extra precautions against the H1N1 flu virus. It's not necessary to announce the sign of peace. And if they do announce the sign of peace during Mass, it's not necessary to shake hands or, or to embrace somebody, but a simple gesture or even just a moment of prayer would, would suffice. Uh, we're suggesting that they might consider um, placing hand sanitizers at the door of the church. Bishop Tobin emailed a letter to parishes throughout the diocese outlining his recommendations, which are not mandatory. We've reminded everybody who is distributing Holy Communion to be especially mindful of hygiene, that they should certainly sanitize their hands before Mass begins or even just before Holy Communion. Bishop Tobin also is asking Catholics to lean heavily on faith and prayer. Reporting live, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.